Hello, hello. This is the Open and Awesome Entertainment Wrap episode 265. This is Rajesh Sen. And this is Abhinandan Sekri. I'm recording from our studio at the News Laundry office and Raj is in the comfort of her own, own home because she's been travelling all over the country or I don't know overseas. No, I've only gone to Bombay and come back. Okay. So that's why she's home because she's going to be travelling all over the world next week. So we won't be seeing her next week either. I'm right? home because I landed exactly. I came home half an hour back. That's why. How diligent are you that you said I will make it for the recording even if I can't make it to the office of News Journal I'll record from my house and for that I think on uh, this re- next Republic Day you should get a ride on the elephant with the brave children of the country. Yes, right. correct. So we have two films. Uh, how was your overall experience on both the films on a scale of 0 to 10? One of them, the Indian one was 7.5. The hmm. foreign one was 8.5. Right. So I was on four on both. So clearly we disagree this week on our yeah. film. So we are going to be reviewing Darlings and Old on Amazon Prime. Darlings on Netflix. Then uh, we have uh, one really mediocre ad which made me cringe big time. And the others which made me laugh so much. Were very good, I thought. But again, I don't know what fan code does. But anyway, the ad was fun. First of all, I want to thank everybody who did... As a birthday gift for me, uh, gift subscriptions to your near and dear ones. Uh, we saw a lot of that. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Our costs have gone up significantly in the last three months. We got a lot more reporters and producers. And our subscriptions are not keeping up after a very good run. Many of our subscribers have not renewed their subscription. Can I please ask you to do it? And you have an additional little reason to do it. Because it is Raksha Bandhan this week and it's Independence Day next week, the first day of next week. So get your merchandise for yourself. And you can also, on your birth, on not birthday, on Raksha Bandhan gift, the best gift to give is a News Laundry gift. Yeah? So we have lovely hampers. So check out the newslaundry.com slash independence dash day dash offer. The link is in the show notes below. Our Independence Day offer gives you discount. It gives you merchandise. It gives you hampers. So for Independence Day ad on Raksha Bandhan, can I please urge you, nudge you to choose News Laundry hampers and News Laundry gifts because that will not only make your loved and near and dear ones happy and it is great utility that is provided by our products, but you also help independent media and journalism prosper. Uh, we have a subscription discount for Awful and Awesome as well. So if you go to our subscription page on the website and put ANA, that means Awful and Awesome, a N A 20 on the payment checkout page. The code will get you a 20% discount on all our annual plans. And one more freebie, you get a subscription longer than a year. That is for one year or two years. You get Rajshri's latest book, The Sweet Kitchen for free. And you notice I said latest book, Rajshri, misleading the audience into believing that you've written several before. But also we shall that you be- got the name correct because it's written over there must be on the document. I memorized it. Yeah, The yeah. Sweet Kitchen by Rajshri Sen. As as my father would have said, all balls. Oh, look, I got someone. Hi. Oh, and Rashi has oh. a dog also there. He's trying to drink tea off the table. So in case you hear the occasional yap in the middle of the recording. Yeah, uh, that's, 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 that's... Sorry, he's putting up a... What did you think of Darlings, Rashi Sen? It is a film on Netflix directed by Jasmeet K. Reen. It's written by Parviz Sheikh and Jasmeet Reen. And it's produced by Gauri Khan, Alia Bhatt. Produced by Gaurav Verma, Gauri Khan and Alia Bhatt. And is it Jasmeet's first uh, debut? I think so because I haan, first haan. debut, nahi, debut the first year. In, uh, <laughs> in her directorial debut from a screenplay by Par- Parviz Sheikh. So it stars, uh, I really like that Vijay Verma who plays her husband. And I've seen him, we've seen him in... I don't know in film. Oh, he's in Gully Boy. He's done a few films. I've seen him in small roles in a bunch of films. So the story is basically about the fact that Alia Bhatt, it's, uh, they would, you would say, lower middle class setup they have economically. Well, statistically, yeah, lower middle class. He's basically, he's got a job as a ticket collector uh, at Bombay Local. Yeah. Uh, They belong to a, you know, fairly poor to lower middle class family. It's a conservative Muslim chawl. 
Uh, they get married. He's an abusive husband. She often fantasizes about killing him, but loves him too much to actually kill him. Her mother lives across the corridor in the chawl. In the same chawl, her mother keeps encouraging her to leave the husband and come because he beats her. Uh, basically, that's the plot and how she, you know, kind of sometimes says that I will file a police complaint. Sometimes I will take revenge. Sometimes I won't. How he sweet talks her, gaslights her. Chef Ali Shah uh, is uh, her mother. And there's this boy called Roshan Matthew was there in that Malayalam film where he's an auto driver. We saw, yeah, 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 yeah. So the only thing I felt is that she doesn't, she doesn't really say ever that she's going to file a complaint or not because she excuses away his behavior. So he's, he wallops her, say, in the evening and by the morning he's sweet to her. So she'll sulk a little bit and all, but she gets, uh, she gets cajoled and molly coddled into then she forgives. and considers this normal as is as yeah. is frequent in many relationships in, yeah. in our country that they say that you know as long as he loves me and gets me a phone in the morning so what if he hammers me at night yeah exactly so uh, that is the thing now there are various so what worked for me is uh, i think she's a very good actress alia bhat and this uh, very pretty in love uh, role suits her well so she acts extremely well. I think that Vijay Varma and all are these actors are the rare Bollywood actors who actually uh, get into whatever character they are doing because their stardom has not come their way yet where the star is bigger than the actor they are playing. The uh, entire thing of how contrite someone who gives you a slap in the evening is the next morning and how they become the victim like, you know, oh, I'm such a, I'm so sorry. I'm such a horrible person. I don't know why I do this. And I, here's a phone, here's some other gift. That part, I think they managed to etch out very well. Shifali Shah's role is very nice. The fact that the only thing with Jazz me. It just didn't work for me as a film at all. It was really slow at times. It was inconsistent. The characters were inconsistent. And once I... Suddenly, Alia was confident, I know what to do. Suddenly, she was, I don't know what to do. She couldn't even answer the phone and make a good excuse. And on the other hand, she's like smooth talking away. Into There was just, I think it was all over the place. I think it was really clumsy, the film. And how is he shitting after they've tied him? So I this thought, is what, was, how were they making that, him pee and shit? This she, is what and I, I thought that could have been a great comedy scene. You know, because after she loses her child, they could have done a setup, a plant, huh. that she's bought a lot of diapers. And if, and they've, uh, I mean, I've seen it described as a dark comedy. If they really want to make it dark, so I think that is another thing. They wanted to make a dark comedy, but didn't have the guts to go far enough to make it really dark. Yeah. So she could have used her, you know, dead, uh, you know, ab ab aborted child's uh, nappies huh. to tie on him and say, Chalab, tu yahi par tatti peshab kar. You know, there was, there, so much could have been done. I think they wanted to make a really kick-ass film, but did not want to go far too far. They weren't sure whether it should be serious or tragic or comedy. Everything was inconsistent. The plot line was consistent. The treatment was inconsistent. The character was inconsistent. And yeah. So that, I that felt the only person whose character was consistent was the husband's character. But Rashi, now let's come to Old. Old is a film by M. Night Shyamalan. It is available on Amazon. Uh, I had seen the promo last year or year before last. I remember I was... I was very keen to see it because all M. Night Shyamalan's films promo very well. Uh, it is a story of a family of four that go for a holiday. Uh, they are suffering from certain personal troubles of their own where the parents are going to be separated. The child is six, the girl is 12 or something or eight or something like that. And they go to this mysterious beach when they go to that resort where everybody is aging much faster than they normally would. Like one hour is eight years or something like that. And uh, that's that's the plot. And why are they there? How do they get out? Is this an experiment being done on them by someone? That is the whole thing. And like M. Night Shyamalan, it is all mysterious and scary and startling and disturbing. So that's the basic plot. So they go to this resort and the resort sends them, like in like many resorts do activities. So they say there's this secluded beach uh, where only your family is being sent. And then everyone who's at that resort who has seen them each other at breakfast finds that they've all been sent to this beach and they can't get out of the beach for some reason and then they rapidly start rapidly aging and what happens 
and gail garcia bernal is in this film he's the father you've seen him before nico in lots of films he's won oscars and all he's very hot and he's very talented also he's uh, he played che in uh, the motorcycle oh, right diaries. that's what i've seen him correct yeah. i've seen him in that film he yes. was in babel which was Shit, that he film. hasn't aged he's like you yeah yeah he's like me only he is oh he's younger than me he's 43 he's aged worse than i have i have to say doesn't he look a little older than me no he looks as no no the answer was yes, like yes, yes yes so yes. promptly you said no immediately Sorry. you said this i didn't understand the last 5 minutes like i had to read a review to understand what was happening in that lab yeah so i got a little confused like what have they done in this lab i wasn't getting then i read it and i understood but i felt that aging part was done very well and for a while it did it does keep your attention why are you saying you didn't like it and you're giving it 4 and 10 Well, uh, I'll consult my notes and get back to you on that, which is just about now. <laughs> is he's very effective at creating the world around you in the film and sucking you into that world. He creates a really convincing and compelling world. So, it's not like you're outside it. He can really suck you into it and make you feel that mood. That yeah. mood he creates, he he brings you into it. We lost someone just 2 days ago who starred in one of my all time favorite films like if and i had mine. a top 10 if my top 10 film list has grease in it i can watch grease again in fact even sometimes now on youtube that last dance sequence uh uh, uh lower what is it oh and to hand jive baby oh yeah oh yeah want to hand jive oh yeah anyway what i'm forgetting that bit but yeah uh, olivia newton john who was 35 when she did grease But she doesn't. And she looked like twenty five or twenty six. I feel. Yeah, she looked very young, but she was in the thirties and she Greece. And John Travolta was a young twenty something. She was phenomenal. She died at the age of seventy six. Seventy three. Maybe seventy six. God knows. But she had breast cancer, which had in nineteen ninety two, they detected it, and then it had got arrested. But in I think two thousand seventeen, they she said she made an announcement, like a press announcement, saying that it's. spread through my body now so there's on youtube there's actually a lovely we'll have the link below if you're on the website you can watch it um it's a repeat performance that she and john travolta did a few years back and it's just lovely to watch because both of them can still move and sing maybe not move as well as they were when they were in their 20s but it's really lovely to watch and what a voice she had also i think john trolta's comeback was one of the most spectacular and amazing comebacks i've seen <coughs> because he looked nothing like what he did when he was young yeah but with michael and uh, that quentin tarantino film you know he did those three four together pulp fiction he was overweight he was nothing like that young cool amazing looking hung but he still had the moves he still had that confidence the swag was just amazing and his roles were so different when he was younger he was this like this rakish lover boy who can dance and sing and all and suddenly he was this he used to do even con- wasn't he in no he wasn't in corner face off face off he was very good in face off he's just he's a very good actor actually but what are you talking about olivia newton john so no so i was bad. feeling bad I- for John Travolta because two people in his life have died one is Olivia Newton John and the other is his wife died a few years back who's a very good looking actress we have no reason to believe he and Olivia Newton John were close i mean they did a film together like 40 no, 50 years ago no he said that we were close i believe i everything. don't know dude i don't know i i mean you do a film together like centuries ago remember they but- did another film after that which wasn't a hit but kelly preston is his wife who died in 2020 yeah but if you're a young millennial or less than millennial as in zoomer and if you haven't watched greece watch greece unfortunately you won't be able to do the cinema experience because i watched it on big screen as well but that is a film and that is cool like that is cool you you don't have cool like that no more it just doesn't exist so i used to sing that song look at me i'm sandra d 
but I used to sing it as "Look at me, I'm Rajeshri," and it was very cute. I'm just saying. It is very cute, really. <laughs> okay. Is that? Is that? <laughs> I won't say anything. See, I'll I, sing I'm it for you. I won't really. sing it on the show, but I'll sing it for you. Even you'll say how cute, Raju. Okay, I'm sure I will. The rest of the podcast is on audio only. That's all we have for the video version. Thank you for watching. Do subscribe. and all the references we made including the subscription link is in the show notes below do check it out and continue to support news laundries awful and awesome and all other stuff as well the subscription model is something that keeps news laundry afloat but we need hundreds of thousands of people to completely transform the news ecosystem so you pay for news so it serves you so click on the link with this video subscribe to news laundry and pay to keep news free or garv se kaho मेरे खर्च पर आजाद है खबरें